Hi guys, my name is Rob, I'm 20 years old and I'm a batsman for Warwickshire County Cricket Club. Hi, I'm Ethan Brooks, I'm 19 and I'm an all-rounder. Thanks for sending through your questions, uh, we'll, we'll answer them now. Ethan, what's your first memory of Birmingham? Uh, I think my first memory of Birmingham would probably have to be when I went, went to the ball ring with my granddad. And we always used to, after visiting the ball ring, we always used to go to the fishmongers. And I just remember as a little kid walking through there, the sights that you'd see and the, the smell of the place was, was off-putting, I'll put it that way. It's a bit like your changing spot that, isn't yeah. it? Mine probably when I was about two or three. I mean, it's a vague memory, but I was with my mum. Uh, it was a rainy day out to the Sea Life Centre in the middle of the town. Um, since then, uh, similar to yourself, lots of trips to the ball ring, um, occasional night out, um, and a huge memory which will still be for life will probably be my experience at the University of Birmingham. Um, I mean, that most people who go to university don't really forget that in a hurry. So what's your first thing you hear when you hear about Birmingham? Uh, I think about Birmingham, probably the university again, because currently that is what I think about when I hear Birmingham. Uh, Edgebaston cricket ground as well, uh, I spend a lot of time here, and that's a huge part of Birmingham for myself, uh, and also probably Aston Villa. I mean, Biggest, biggest club in the in the city, so it kind of springs to mind straight away, really. It's your opinion, that, isn't it? <laughs> Mine would have to be Peaky Blinders, just because obviously set in Digbeth and the famous pub, the Garrison, that's near one of the football grounds. What do you think you were doing if you if you weren't going to be a cricketer? Um, I'd like to think I'd use my English language degree to some extent and potentially go down path in journalism, uh, who knows though, I mean, that, that would be my initial uh, direction to go if I wasn't already playing cricket. Mum would obviously be probably university roots, trying to study sports science or something along them lines, but uh, as a youngster I think everyone has a dream of playing sport or being a policeman or something like that and I just remember loving action movies and action documentaries and I always wanted to be a policeman when I was younger but I think I've grown out of that stage now. Uh, so who inspired you to get into cricket? Uh, definitely my dad. Uh, obviously he, he's got brothers that used to play cricket at Alton and West Warwick. So I went down down to the ground every Saturday with both my brothers, older brothers. Just used to be in the nets all day, bowling, batting, footballs, rugby balls, anything, everything was played there. And uh, yeah, that was, I've been doing that since I was about six. So I've just, over the years, kept doing that and obviously got, got here now where I am. I'm probably similar in terms of my dad was heavily involved. Um, I mean, cricket wasn't his main sport, but he enjoys cricket a lot. Um, my granddad as well, however, on my mum's side, um, a Yorkshire man, and a Yorkshire family on that side, really. Um, you kind of have to play cricket. Um, and since playing in the garden with my dad and granddad, um, about two or three, I then joined Mosley Cricket Club when I was eight, and uh, I've, I've always loved the game uh, and continue to do so, really. And finally, the most important question, what, what's your favourite book? Favourite book? Uh, I know you said you like Stormbreaker from the Alex Ryder series. I remember when I was about 10 or 11 reading Eagle Strike, which is one of the six or seven in that series, yeah. uh, and I really enjoyed that. Uh, can't really remember what happened in it because it was so long ago, but currently I'm reading The Book Thief. Uh, I've heard it's quite good for recommendations, and about 150 pages in, so yeah, it's, so far I'm, I'm enjoying Not it a lot. How many? Oh, I think it's about 400 or 500. So, a long way to go. Yeah, a long way. You stole my thunder there. Mine, mine's uh, Alex Ryder's Stormbreaker. That was just a classic when I was 13, 14, just used to get in bed, do some bedtime reading. So I, I finished, finished all them series. Thank you for your questions, and that is both our Birmingham story.